Isn't this adorable? You know, many times I look through my decorative napkins and I think, boy, that would look so great inside a frame. And well, I love that idea. This is Jill Marie Domino from Dippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. And I'm going to show you how you can make wall art using your decorative napkins. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you want to start out with is a frame. Pick a frame that you like. You could look around your house, go to the dollar store, go to a thrift store and get yourself a frame. This is the frame that I chose. I like the design on it and I like the color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that backing. Then I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and I'm going to cut it exactly the same size as that backing I just took off. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to slip it back inside the frame like that. Now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm very lightly going to draw inside the frame. This is going to help me when I put the napkin on because I don't want any of the napkin being hidden by the frame. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to take decoupage glue, the Mod Podge like this, okay? And you're going to put a nice thick layer onto the card stock like this. Now, as you put it on, the card is going to bend a little bit, but don't worry about it. That's going to flatten out. Okay. So then put it off to dry. Now I happen to have one already. Here it is. And now, of course, I need to pick out a napkin. And so I want a napkin that's not only going to fit, but I wanted to go with this frame and I picked this cat. I thought it was really cute and very whimsical. So I, I think it will look nice with this frame. Okay, now here's the card that I cut out and you can see that I traced the frame here and you see there's a little bit more space here because that's gonna be a little bit more that's going to be hidden by the frame. All right, now I'm going to be using the iron-on method to adhere the napkin to the card, okay. So you want your iron set on cotton, about medium. All right, now I'm using an ironing pad. You're gonna use an ironing board. I put down a layer of parchment paper and I'm putting down the card. Okay, so here's my napkin. I'm only using the top layer, that thin, pretty sheer layer, and I'm going to put it on top so that it fits. I can see that line. And I'm going to use a little bit of water from my water brush just to keep it in place. And remember, I'm not using steam on the iron, okay? Because water and napkins and glue, they do not go. All right, I'm taking another piece of parchment paper. This is cooking parchment. I'm gonna lay it down on top. Okay, now I'm going to start to iron. When I iron, the glue is going to melt and the napkin is going to stick to the board. Now, unlike the wood, you need to move much quicker when you're using the iron-on technique because with the paper, this could definitely scorch. So you want to be very careful and you want to move the napkin back and forth just like I'm doing here. And be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove the parchment and I have to tell you, I was getting calluses on my fingers. So you really need to work with some kind of silicone and these you can put on your fingers. And if you use hot glue guns, these things will also help protect your fingers and your hands. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, and you can see that the napkin has adhered to the board, looks very nice. I'm gonna put that aside to cool off. Now, of course, I already have one ready. It's been done already and it's cooled. Now I wanna remove this excess napkin. Of course, I'm going to use a sand sponge. I like using a sand sponge because it gives me a really clean edge. Like that. See how nice that is? Well, let's see how it looks inside the frame. Okay inside the frame. Okay, now we're gonna put the backing back in, like this. All right, let's take a look. Oh my God, how cute is that? This cat definitely goes with this frame. I really like that. That came out really, really good. 
All right, so let's take a look at some of these other ones I have on the table. Um, this really cute cow, which I showed in the beginning. This turtle, that is actually going into my house. This um, lighthouse, and the thing about the lighthouse napkin is it actually has another image on the same napkin. So I could do two different things. And of course, this ballet slipper, that would look so cute in like a little girl's room. Okay, so I'm gonna show you just a few other napkins that I picked out. Again, I really think these can be framed. Here's a cute kitten, another nautical. This one is really nice. It's like a cottage in a meadow. This is a really cool napkin because it actually has four different bikes on it. Now, you don't wanna forget you can do things for Halloween, you can do things for Thanksgiving, and of course, you can also do things for Christmas. Oh, and by the way, this horse, I found that if I change this out, it still goes really well with that um, frame. Okay, so here's another frame I have, and I put in this a flamingo, and I actually painted the frame so that it would go, but I know that I can change this out for other seasons, and remember, you can also put frames up like this as well and you can also don't forget frames can be hung up on a wall like that and it can also just stand up on a table all by itself and this napkins that i picked out these would work really really good with that kind of long frame now some of you have said to me joan i'm not comfortable using an iron but that's okay you can actually use double stick tape this is a runner tape and you're gonna take the runner tape and you're gonna put it right onto the board like this. And then you're gonna take your napkin and you're gonna be very carefully, place it down and that will work. The only thing is you only have kind of one shot because this tape is really, really sticky. So what do you think? Isn't that pretty? You think you can give this a try? Look at the beautiful artwork that you can hang on your wall. Okay, I want to thank my wonderful sponsor, Vippy's Designs. Go to their website, show them some love at www.vippies.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Joan Marie Domino, and thank you for watching my video.